Have any of you heard of James Higgins? Or, as he's more commonly known as, President Higgins. The Irish government wiped him away from their lineup of leaders, and for good reason. You'll see why. Born in 1942 in now forgotten town Parmas, his father died before he was born, leaving only his mother to take care of him. He was a normal child, playing, laughing, and had a bit of a mischievous side. But as Higgins got older, his mind started to get a bit more grim. It became clear to not only his mother, but to his hometown that he only saw humanity as God's greatest failure, always getting into fights and being insanely rude to others, even to the ones who loved him. His views became an obsession, and in 1960, he ran for mayor, claiming he wanted to give the meat puppets hell. Higgins was opposed by a man named Isaac Murphy, and thus, the election began. Naturally, Murphy was in the lead for a long time, and Wiggins was about to accept the feat, when he got a plan, and he did the unthinkable. He brought several of his supporters together and manipulated them into murdering nearly all of Isaac Murphy's supporters. 400 were killed, while 67 were injured, and while the murderers were executed, nobody knew that it was Higgins who caused it all. With no other choice, Higgins was elected as mayor. His reign of terror was quite possibly one of the darkest moments in Irish history. He forced propaganda of him to air on televisions and play in cinemas. He had at least 250 people arrested and executed. He was happy enough to let the town starve. Higgins was a master of manipulation and convinced the lawyers and judges to send anyone who disagreed with his methods to be arrested and executed. One of Higgins' many strange habits was looking in the mirror and asking various questions relating to his twisted views on humanity, such as, why were humans brought to Earth? Why are we made out of disgusting flesh? And what are friends for? After two years of his horrible reign, the town formed a mob and thrashed the city hall looking for him. Once they found him, Higgins showed his cowardly side and immediately ran out of the building with the mob chasing after him. He was then shot and killed in a forest when he was trying to convince the townsfolk that he could run the town better, which was most definitely a lie to keep his reign going. All mention of him was removed, and the country has vowed to distance themselves from James Higgins as much as possible. However, some people have stated to have seen Higgins in various places as a spirit or simply a hallucination. This has become somewhat of a legend in Irish folklore nowadays, referring to him as our- Wait. It's all corrupted. My notes are all corrupted. I can't make that out. Our- So many. Our- Our- Wait. Our rock. Our rock. <laughs> See you real soon.